so got a, another video here it was a request from Lemon Force on YouTube he asked for more information uh, for me to cover the, uh, the precision aiming weapons like the EML and the machine gun so the machine gun in this game is definitely trickier to use um, than in previous games I believe It settles down eventually, but... Definitely seems to have a mind of its own. Um, I remember Ace Combat 6 being a bit more mellow. Here it is. Now, granted, this isn't a very long shot, but you can see it's not bouncing around all over the place. It's almost like they intended for you to have to use the um, radar lock-on item that you can get. It's one of the green items down at the bottom. Um, yeah, it's kind of odd. The reticle definitely seems a bit drunk. Um, remember, you want to match the roll like I'm trying to do there. Whenever, whenever possible. And something, a recurring theme with all these weapons, they're all kind of similar. Um, especially the ones with the circle, like the EML here. Um, the easiest way to aim it when you're really close to them, uh, rather than trying to kind of pitch around and manhandle the nose, I find it easier to roll into them. Or if you can lead them like that, where they fly across your reticle, you can just catch them at the right time. But if you're coming up behind them, it definitely helps to roll into them. And that happens a lot too, you know, um, them coming head on at you. You'll get lucky sometimes and just be able to fire off a shot or if somebody tries to joust with you in a multiplayer match. I kind of edited some shots together of me doing various EML shots because it wouldn't get too boring for you guys because these drones are kind of tricky and sometimes you have to chase them around for a little while. When they're farther away, you can lead them a little bit. Sometimes you'll just get lucky and all of a sudden they'll be inside your circle. Later in the video, toward the end, I have a, um, I actually go online with the EML. But, um, it's a lot of fun. I, I think of it, it's kind of like a flying shotgun. It was great in Assault Horizon. It was perfect for the people that tried to abuse the dogfight mode, um, which is another long story. But yeah, EML was the perfect thing to get rid of them. So you could just roll right up to them and shotgun them. And you know, they're playing just basically like disintegrates. I think it's instant death in this game. I don't think that, I don't know if it's possible to upgrade the health of your plane enough to be able to survive an EML shot. I'm guessing it's not. Yeah, that's something you have to look out for is stalling. Um, in a multiplayer game, if you slow down really slow to, you know, to EML somebody, there's a good chance you're going to catch a missile from somebody else. So that's definitely something to keep in mind when you're trying to do it. But it's such a fun weapon, you know. It's definitely, it definitely takes skill to use, especially against real people. It 
looked like he was completely outside the circle on that one, but I'll take it. Maybe I got his wingtip. Usually it doesn't go that way. Usually it's the opposite. You think you shot him and you didn't. <laughs> This is only available on, I believe, on the MiG-21. The way you fire it is by holding down the missile button, but you actually aim it with the machine gun reticle. So it's basically just a double annoying machine gun. You can see the shots coming out of the sides of the plane. So, you probably would want to use the radar lock-on reticle thing for the machine gun. A lot of people use this for their machine gun only runs. I haven't actually done a machine gun only run yet, so I'm sure I'll probably be better with the MG once I do that, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. <coughs> uh, good old pulse laser. This thing is neat. It's pretty straightforward. It's like a it's kind of like a machine gun with a giant reticle that doesn't fly around all over the place. It's, you know, there's not much to it, which is cool. Now the EML and the lasers each only have like about three upgrades each. Not counting the level 1, level 2 things, because you can only have one of either of those on there. But basically, you can only have three upgrades for each at a time. Now, the tactical laser system is actually pretty neat. I used to like it a lot in uh, Ace Combat Infinity. I am not holding the fire button. Once you hit it, it's just out there for a while. It's basically like your plane has a big lightsaber sticking out of it for a few seconds. And it takes a little bit to start up. I've only used it maybe once online. I haven't really messed with it a whole bunch, but I used to really love it in Infinity, and I'm definitely going to have to try to get back into using it again. Um, and I believe, I think it depends on the version, but hopefully um, in this one you can fire your missiles while the laser's going. Because usually you used to be, I think it was, I think it's different for two different games, but one of them, you could start the laser going and then switch to your missiles and be firing those while the laser was still firing. Now another cool thing you can do with it is you can fire at groups and it'll, you can kind of hit multiple dudes, which is pretty neat. Obviously I didn't do a whole bunch of damage, but... Now this is super cool. This is, I don't mention yaw a lot. I mean, obviously you're yawing all the time, but for this, you really want to use your yaw. That lets you stray with the laser, which is really cool. I used to love to do this in Infinity. Yaw, yaw, yaw. Roll up a little bit at the end and almost had enough laser to get that last propeller. Alright, so now we're going to jump into some multiplayer. Um, you know, it's funny that, you know, that I, that I got a request for these for how to how to play with them. I wish I had more tips and suggestions or, you know, shortcuts to make it easier. But it's really just practice. You know, just trying to match their role, trying to roll into it, trying to, you know, lead them and shoot when you can. Um, you know... You're going to be slow at first. You're probably going to die a lot. It's kind of like one of the most fun weapons and one of the most frustrating weapons at the same time because it's great when you hit with it, but when you miss, it's like, ah. Oh. But, um, yeah. It's definitely fun. Oh, that level that I'm normally practicing on... That is mission three, two-prong strategy. I like to just go in there and turn off the, the, the voices. And, um, you know, for the video, I turn off the voices and the music. But you can go in there and turn off the voices and just practice. Because at the beginning, you get a bunch of F4s. And then you just get a bunch of drones after that. And, you know, you can fight drones forever and then just restart at the checkpoint whenever you want. 
So it's good practice, and they're wily little guys. Yeah, another reason uh, that, that I wanted to make this video um, is at least noobs that don't have everything yet, uh, that haven't bought everything on the aircraft tree, it's nice to be able to see what they can do uh, before you buy something that you're not necessarily going to like. So, you know, obviously eventually they'll have everything, but... I think it's probably helpful to see the weapon used successfully so you know, you know, what you're in for. Getting shot up. Another great thing about the EML is that, I, you know, clouds, it doesn't care about clouds. I'm players. And I got shot. <laughs> yeah, you'll have a lot of near misses with the EML. Or times where you almost get them and somebody else blows them up. Or they zig when they should have zagged. And naturally, I have all the upgrades for the EML um, on my plane. So this is what it's going to look like when you play, because I haven't really practiced that much with these weapons yet. I'm still, you know, slowly getting my skills back from Infinity and the other games. But, um, you know, the more you practice, the better you'll get, and the more kills you'll get. I came in second, it could be worse. But, um, yeah, so hopefully this video is helpful. Four kills, four, yeah, four hits, four kills. That's the great thing about the EML. You never have to shoot it at them twice. If you hit them, they're dead. I wonder how high the, the, the rank goes. To 100, I'm guessing. Anyway, thanks for watching.